Good morning. Oh, is that bright light? Good morning. Hello. Good morning, guys. As you can tell, it is rather early. It is about 20 to 6. And I am here to give the ponies their breakfast before heading off up the A30 onto the M5 yet again for some more arena eventing. As I've just been, I've just created the Bicton vlog and <laughs> which is obviously from before Christmas, but you guys still wanted to see it. So I hope that you have enjoyed it. And actually it's given me good vibes before this weekend. So yeah, it's nice to watch it round because she was epic at Bicton for the riding club qualifiers. Um, unfortunately, Bicton's British eventing, winter series arena eventing got cancelled. How many times can you say arena eventing in one sentence? Unfortunately got cancelled because of um, ice being forecasted and like, yeah, it wasn't going to be safe to be driving in. So that got cancelled last week or the week before. Last week, actually, just last week. Oh, crikey, I feel like this week has had a lot going on that I'm a bit like, yeah, feels like it could have made up two weeks, if I'm honest. But yes, it got cancelled and then saw that Pontus Ball was on this weekend. So, yeah, have entered all the same plans as Victor last weekend, going up with Kerri Ann. Kerri Ann is coming over to pick us up. Oh, she's just having a quick wee. Excited. We haven't actually been back to Pontus Ball. We went there cross country training and we obviously had our camp there last year and we have booked on to go to Fred's camp again this year, which I'm really excited about. That is in March, so a little way off yet. I feel like we are really in our winter training at the moment and it's really keeping me motivated, even when it's weather like, like dark evenings, dark mornings. It's cold, it's wet, it's muddy, but I am feeling really like inspired and motivated at the moment. They say, don't they, like, you need to be disciplined to stay consistent and then consistency, it like creates motivation. That's what I always think and I keep, yeah, I always think that. I think you've got to, you've got to make yourself be consistent, but then once you're consistent and you start noticing results and things like that and seeing improvement, it then drives you to be more motivated to keep up with that consistency yeah i hope that makes sense anyway that's how i'm feeling at the moment aren't we i gave you a very very speedily clip yesterday because i was just like she wasn't barely anything came off of like her neck and her body but her beard and like on her bottom and everything like that i was like she just needs a bit of a spruce up tidy up so that was very quickly done yesterday after a lovely ride and lead with the girlies but let's give you your breakfast i have done pretty much everything all my stuff is already in carrie ann's car and um, we're actually taking my trailer because she is currently in between looking for a new one um so i dropped that all over along with my stuff so it is just literally the case of breakfast and give addy just a bit of a spruce over i did put an awful lot of fresh straw in the stables last night in the hope that Addy wouldn't then find a poo to lie in, but the chances of that are probably quite slim because that is like her favorite thing to do. Or pooing on the walls, which I know some of you have noticed before. But anyways, right, yeah, let's, uh, let's get them their breakfast. Yes, it's coming. <laughs> There you go. Oh, I need you. Hello. She's like, yep, yeah, here, thank you. There you go. Good girl. I have just received a text. Uh, Carrie Ann is on her way. Addie's had to have her breakfast brought out, and unfortunately, she's had had to eat on the go. Um, so she's just finishing that off. But no, she's all groomed up. She's looking lovely. She didn't lie and poo, so win win. Um, Mum's just come out and painted her toes for me. Um, I've brushed through her tail, so yeah, we are good to go. I'm actually really excited. I'll be honest, I am, I suppose, any competition, I am a little bit nervous because, again, it is, and it, that's why it's so good for the experience because Pontus Bull is, again, a lovely, lovely venue, massive great arena, lots, I can imagine, going on. I have seen some sneaky pictures that they've put up on Instagram, but it's just got a lot in there there's like a ditch a chicane or i don't think that would be in the 80. i don't know I, like i don't know and they've got like a ramp up but obviously she did one of those at um 
charred the other weekend for her first time so I know that she can go down that no problem but yeah it's just different fences again different atmosphere different arena and all of this is experienced to hopefully I'll be honest I know that they said that we were in the qualifying like percentage when we were at Chard but the results haven't yet got sent to BE yet and I did have a little check but like you know when you don't quite believe it until you see your name on there so yeah we had well, we were told that we had qualified for the champs and I think we have but I'm still waiting for the confirmation on the BE website to say that yeah our names are on the list and that we can enter but I'm hoping, obviously, that we are going to go up to those champs. Hoping Carrie Ann is going to get qualified today as well, so then we can have like a little bit of a sister road trip. <laughs> um, in case you're new here, Carrie Ann is my sister in law, um, married to my brother. And the reason that, well, not the reason I got into horses, because that was because of mum. But, oh, oh, and speaking of Carrie Ann, Carrie Ann and little Arthur is here. Right, we are ready to get loaded up and get on the road. We have arrived at Pontesport in plenty of time. It was a lovely, smooth journey. <laughs> really, really nice. Nice, relaxed. We just chatted the whole way up as per usual. So uh, <laughs> the time has flown by. Now they're doing it ever so slightly, not, not different as in that the arena eventing isn't show jumping and cross country. Obviously it is. But Pontesport has got such a big arena. It is beautifully set up that the show jumping is all in here, which is then boarded off with the white fencing there just concentrated because obviously that does look like quite a few jumps in like not a small space of area but it's a quite twisty turny crossing over the diagonals um so just concentrated on that and now we are heading out over fence number one of the cross country now i will laugh because i had been having a little sneaky peek at some of the fences and i was like that's quite challenging that's quite big realized that i was doing orange carrots which is 90 which is carrying Anne's car but yeah not for Connor more for Addy and uh, then I realized I'm not orange carrot so that would be the 90 and I'm in the 80s so I had a bit of a deep breath out but yeah nice little roll top to get us into it and I think I must be I need to check what I don't actually know what color I am I think I need the light yellow yeah, yeah, light, light yellow, yellow or, or white? white I don't know I might need to ask somebody right I best find out <laughs> we are now splitting ways Carrie Ann is going off that way to walk the orange and I am on the white but I do feel like actually I really need to concentrate because there is an awful lot of fences a lot of flags and numbers and like now I can't even see where fence number three is is it over there yeah I found out oh there's number three right okay one to two past the water to three all looking nice so far and getting us into it but I am going to be good and put down the camera over it is looking beautiful in here just Hang you round. There's my number three. But yeah, like I say, I'm going to be good and I want to concentrate because I do not want to be the reason. I've said today is obviously because I think, like I mentioned at the very beginning, I think I am qualified already. I really want to work. I could have I almost stepped up to 90 thinking, yeah, we can do 90 now. Like we are progressing and stuff. But I was actually like, do I... Why am I putting that pressure on myself to do it? Let's stick at the 80 and actually work on... I oh, that way and I might not even be going that way. Um, let's focus on actually the rhythm and riding, making sure that I'm not getting really stupid long ones like I had in my lesson with Fred and that we are on the stride I want to be and I'm in control, making sure that we're coming around corner supple and actually just gain some experience because she is still new to doing all of this. Um, in different arenas like I say she's never been here and actually competed so it's just nice you know um I can see my number four now um carry on walking so yeah we're just coming here for experience and as training and just to have a nice day out with my pony and my sister-in-law and my little nephew Arthur so yeah oh this is a bit different they're not going to know quite where they're landing for that one but Oh, I'm actually, I'm excited because even though it is 80, there is still different questions and challenges. So, yeah, looking forward to giving this a, this a go. This is quite nice. So we've got fence four down to the step five and then you can see six in the distance. Uh, we'll get here and she'll know where we're going and we're, yeah, very nice. She'll see that easily from back there and down here. 
Right, I will concentrate now. I keep saying that. How many times have I said that? I feel like this one, we might be giving a little bit of extra room, but nice that it's been filled out with Christmas trees. All right, six. Oh, we're now going at left-hand turn to number seven. I've really concentrated for long, didn't I? So when we first walked in the course and we were walking to our fences number two, Carrie Ann was like, I've got this one to jump. I was like, it's fine, it's just a log pile. Okay, well I now need to tell Emily it's fine, it's just a log pile because it's actually my number eight. <laughs> oh dear. Should be fine. It's all right. It's just, just wood piles. I'd jump that in a show jump. I'll fly it. Fine. Bank. Well, good morning, everyone. Number ten. I've watched a couple, um, all now dressed in my lovely cross country colours, and it is time. My bridle's being put on by Carrie Ann. Thanks. So we are then good to go. It's like it's been nice. It's been chilled, not rushing, like no rushing but it's like there's always just on to the next thing, on to the next thing, um, which is good for me because it's making me not overthink. Go in, my fundamentals, and as Chris just said on the phone and everybody says to me, be the pilot, not the passenger. I am the pilot. I am the pilot. After another rather exciting start to the warm-up, um, a few bronks which weren't captured on camera, but yeah, thankfully she did settle well. Now I feel like I need to just say a little disclaimer from walking the course when I said about entering at 90. After this round, I was very, very pleased that I didn't fall into the pressure trap and did listen to my gut and know that we weren't ready to step up to 90 quite yet. So we will be staying at 80s for the foreseeable future and building on our experience and just aiming to get a nice flowing round now show jumping Addy did actually jump really really nicely I felt like we got all the strides I saw a little bit of a longer one there but then managed to sit back and get it back for fence four and this all just flowed really well it was kind of tight lines especially this little combination of lines here um the double was a bit of a long one and bless her she did stretch pick up and jumped it well and then again here and again this is all really good practice because what i'm trying to learn at the moment is the turning and everything in the canter and like being able to turn her from my outside aids making sure she doesn't fall in through the inside shoulder so this kind of show jumping is absolutely perfect to try and put that into practice so we finished, jumped over the skinny really nicely, and then we come around to the roll top to leave the arena. Now, I should have, I think, I don't know whether I was just, I didn't ride perhaps as as firmly as I should have, as positively as maybe Addy needed me to, and she just went, oh, okay, and I should have perhaps brought her back to a trot. But here you can just see that she just slightly went almost a little bit nappy-fied, like I don't actually want to go back towards it. And here you just see her going like sort of sideways, not really concentrating, but thankfully getting over fence two. And then all this bit here, she's just very wibbly wobbly that's all like she just feels like a worm underneath me not quite staying a straight spooking at some of the other fences everything that's going on in the arena and then we come up and around here and obviously i showed this when we were walking the course this little combination down here so i thought bring her back to a trot make sure that i can keep her straight and focused and actually she went down there all really really nicely again she spooks here at the water but managed thankfully we were going slow enough that i was able to get her concentration just in the nick of time to get over the chicana and then we've got a little bit more of a better flow around here she's cantering on um she doesn't like spook at that corner there so she's starting to settle starting to find the rhythm then this one that i was worried about she pops absolutely no problem and that's where i know that it's just babiness like stopping at the first roll top because the fence is actually she's not afraid of um she went up the bank nicely um, thankfully it was a very small fence at the top 
Uh, again, she then spooks to the right hand side. Again, I'm not 100% sure. Then we're coming through to the water. And she then went to like, not like stop at the water, but just hesitated. And I was like, no, come on, you're not afraid of water, let's go. But then that made her jump out of the water absolutely humongously. It is literally like a pole out of the water, guys, but it made us stay straighter for the fence. But because she jumped so big out of the water, we just lost that straight line and my line to that fence. So in hindsight, I wish I had just circled her around. Again, here you can just see she's falling out of her right shoulder. Um, and if I had jumped that on the first attempt, I don't think I would have gotten over the second. So in hindsight, and if I was quicker thinking, I would have circled after the water and represented. But again, she just jumped it, no problem. And then over to the last. So all in all, we finished nicely and strongly. All done. All oh, Addy's now put back away and we've swapped over. I am actually really, I'm really pleased. I am pleased because that was probably one of the most challenging sort of cross country courses we've done to date. And yes, we had a couple of baby moments, green moments, but that is the whole idea of getting out to these events to have these mistakes now and gain the experience. I'm definitely learning that her right shoulder, she falls out on. So I know we're working on that in the flat work, but we'll continue to try and put that into the jumping. But like coming down over the log, the step, then to the like just, trying to keep her focused and concentrating on me but no I'm pleased with her she just jumped massive I can't wait to watch that back because I just felt like she jumped absolutely humongous out of the water and I think I said something like yeah fair enough you're not going to make it over the next fence but now time to support Kerry Ann Kerry Ann in her new super cross country colours we've got a coat over the top though <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> and matching saddle pad as well. No, I am actually really pleased with her. Maybe I should have brought her back for trot for the first cross country fence. That was maybe my fault. And I'm forgetting as well that she actually show jumped really, really lovely. I thought we hit all the strides that we wanted to. And yeah, I felt she jumped, show jumped really, really nicely. So big positive there and just got to practice some more of these lines. But like I said, we're coming up here to camp. We're gonna have all of these at our disposal and yeah, excited to, I think get a little bit more I don't know whether I should be getting a bit more not angry but like a little bit more firm with her to be like no can you stop being green now concentrate just on what I'm doing I don't know whether she's done enough and I'm sure I'll probably send my round to Fred and he'll be like yes that's what you should have done but I don't know I haven't watched it back yet so I think it always changes sometimes when you watch it back as well but no overall very pleased we finished it and there was nothing that she sort of stopped to go oh my goodness I don't want to jump that so I could not complain. Experience gained yet again. We're now off. You're being a cowboy, aren't you? I'm being a cowboy. You're being a cowboy. Yeah. And we're going off to watch Mummy. We're saying good luck to her, aren't we? And I'm then not. Get... You're not? Why are you not going to say good luck? Only, only why are you down here? <laughs> okay. As time is going on, I'm now, I think, overthinking about the stops, <laughs> um, which I really shouldn't be. Because it was all about experience. <laughs> was I saying that earlier? Starting in a show jumping is number 35, uh, Kerry Ann Dunstan riding hard in corner. Yay, hard in corner. Yay. She pickles with Calypso's pride. Carmen Lawrence with bring back Delilah. We check to both of them. You know she keeps drinking and licking like a dog at the moment. Drinking like a dog. 
Can you cheat them to both of them? Yeah, because... You never know. Connor likes peas. Well done, you get oh, a You'll be Addy's best friend now. Don't you? You love your treats. But, coming to Aston with us. Yay! The road trip at the beginning of April. Harry Ann's just come for fifth. Got some nice Why treats from Nat. Why do you have to keep saying that? I wanna, but that's the first time I've said it now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> but yes, you two will be going to Aston at the beginning of April. Hey! You're not. You said it's too far for you to come, didn't you? You said it's a too far journey. I'll throw up. You'll throw up? Well, you'll <laughs> okay. Pack back in, load the car up, and get these ponies home. I'm really chuffed with today. Just got to keep getting out there and doing more of it, gaining more experience. And uh, yeah, like I said, I haven't actually watched my round back, but perhaps send it to Fred and see what he says. And then I shall update you and work on it next time I am out and about. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please do like, uh, like and comment below. And if you haven't already, please do hit that all important subscribe button. For now, we're gonna get home. And uh, yeah, we'll be on our way to Aston in about six weeks time.